again, this is Vaughn from Exact Remedy, and uh, we're going to be talking about the blood and lift. Very important um, information and knowledge to have regarding um, an essential part of your body and physiology. Um, in the natural health movement, especially the raw food people like um, the Life Regenerator or uh, Dr. Morris, Robert Morris, I think his name is, um, or Morris, the iridology guy, a lot of people, they really obsess on the lymphatic system and, and there's good reason to obsess on the lymphatic system. But before we get into the lymphatic system, we need to talk about, I'm going to talk about the whole kind of scheme, the blood and the lymph, because they work together. Now, um, the thing about um, the fluids of your body is essentially they're divided up into two kind of systems, the blood and the lymph. The blood essentially gets oxygen and nutrition to the cells. And then the cells love it. They're like, hey, great. We got all this nutrition, oxygen. Let's make some energy. Let's do our thing. But then what happens? It makes trash. It makes byproducts. It makes waste. And so when it's making this waste, um, it has to get rid of it. It has to do something. So it dumps it into the lymphatic system. Now, the difference between the lymphatic system um, and the, uh, the blood system or the cardiovascular system is that the the lymphatic system has no pump whereas the heart pumps the blood the only way lymphatic fluids move is by movement that's it or if you massage it or something you know kind of milk the muscles and connective tissues that's pretty serious you know, if you're not dumping out your trash, and so what happens is, uh, well, you get problems if you don't dump out the trash. You get, I mean, what would happen if you don't dump out your trash in your house? Okay, one day it's not too bad, two days, a week, two weeks, a year, two years. Well, that's what's happening to a lot of people. Um, they're not absorbing their nutrition right in the gut. So it's making all sorts of trash and junk. Okay, they're like mixing all these foods and they're not properly digesting it. It's too overcooked and it's fried and whatever. And I'm guilty of that too. Hey, I love French fries, okay? But um, as much as I can, I try to stay away from them. Uh, but essentially, what you have is you have uh, in, in the video, there's some vi you know pictures we're going to be bringing up like this one right here. Um, we talk about how the lymphatic system interacts with... Um, the blood systems, the cardiovascular. So you have blood moving from the heart, gets used up and it goes into um, um, the venous systems of the body. So it goes back to the lungs and back to the heart and you know basically gets re-energized, re-oxygenated. Um, but what about the junk? So you have the blood moving through, goes into the cells, and then you have this interstitial tissue which is basically connective tissue and then from there, the cells dump out their stuff and it goes into the lymphatic vessels. And essentially, it moves throughout your body till it gets to your spleen. And from the spleen, it dumps out into the liver and gets processed and gets dumped out into the intestines. So a couple things. Um, don't eat junk so you don't jam up the system. Okay? If you take antibiotics, it jams up the system. Okay? It actually will jam up the lymphatic systems of the body because your body is not sterile inside there's all sorts of living things in there that we don't really understand and when you start interfering with those systems you start getting swollen glands and all sorts of different things um, <clears throat> you want to move your body very important and of course you want to stop a lot of the crap coming in from the beginning also by cutting out allergy causing foods you're going to basically take a load off your intestines because believe it or not about two-thirds of the weight of your immune system is actually in your gut so um it's basically re reacting to allergy causing irritating foods another thing that happens and i got this from dan mcdonald which is really interesting is you get this kind of plaque that forms in your intestines um, as a kind of a resistance towards all the crap eating that you're essentially being irritated by, you know, whatever those foods are, whether it's breads or milks and eggs and cheeses and whatever, you know, fried. So it creates kind of a barrier. Um, move your body. You know, that's why there's this whole trampoline thing. You don't have to. You don't have to do trampoline. You can, you know, the vibrations. 
you know, um, help it uh, loosen up and break out. Like when I was going to massage school, I had this like gun-like thing, and it created a, it was like a light bulb that looked like a gun, and it created some kind of a field. And um, that essentially uh, would help the lymphatic system clear out, so you put it in the armpits or wherever there's problems, you know, um, in the glands. And you know, if you look it up, you know, look on, on uh, I have a picture right here, but you can also just go on the internet and just find a picture of the lymphatic system. You'll see where you have a predominance of your glands, your lymphatic glands, okay? Another interesting thing about the lymphatic system is that the bones make um, the immune system, but they get educated in the thy thymus, right in your chest, right in your heart area, right? So that's kind of interesting. Uh, because they don't really have that level of, um, they're not geared to really do much till they get here and they get um, processed and educated and mature. Um, so essentially, those are the f those are the main things. Don't eat the junk. And of course, if you are jammed up and if you're having disease and problems, you know, coffee enemas work great. Castor oil packs work great on certain areas, back here, kidneys, liver, in the groin area, on the sacrum. Um, they're gonna kind of create a field so that uh, everything kind of opens up and loosens up. Um, I think sweating is really good. Um, saunas are really great, and um, and just walking and running and doing anything kind of like that where you're basically moving your body. A lot of people they don't move; they uh, just sit all the time. They're sitting all the time. Too much sitting. Oh, and one more thing, keep your intestines cleared up. Eat a lot of, um, uh, you know, fibers and things like that that are going to absorb the, the, you know, the charcoals, the clays, the zeolites, the bentonite clays, the um, pectins and things like this that lock up the poisons and toxins and all that kind of stuff and just always move them out, okay? Because you can reabsorb junk back in from your intestines that's been dumped out.